if you're wearing red, um, chances are, Matt, that <laughs> that shirt came from some white cotton that somebody had to dye. And uh, there's Someone one died. bug that a lot of red dye comes from. Do you guys know what that famous bug is? Do, 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 do. No. Do, do, do. Uh, ladybug. This is not the ladybug. I can. I know this one. The bed bug. Ew. Not the bed bug. Either. Really? Uh, they're blood bugs. Bugs red. Real. They drink blood. So yeah, you smash them on the wall, and there's like a lot of red there. I mean, Jesus suppose... Christ! How, how often do you smash ladybugs on your? Or I mean, uh, ladybugs on your wall. Well, in different continents. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a beetle. It's it a is. Bit. I believe that's all I know. Yeah. So I don't know what it's called, but I get a half point probably because I think I know what they call the color they use. Yeah. Carmine Red. color. I believe that is correct. Because you see it on the side of juices sometimes. It's also, I think, Red 40 is the, uh, the food additive that it gets that's into. Right. Is that right? Hey, I didn't write it down, so sure, why not? Red 40. Red 40 bug? I think Red 40 is actually, isn't that a pork byproduct? That was red number three. The one that's made you out of actually, is the one that's not it made might out of be, petroleum. <laughs> so I know. It might be red four. You might be right, actually, that it's something else. I think I am thinking of red four. Not I orange four. Anyway, <laughs> back to bugs. <laughs> any other guesses? Any, any guesses of where you might find the bug? If anybody, if nobody thinks they're going to pick it. In, in toothpaste. House. You would not find it in your house. I don't know. I'm no, sure I saw it. Okay. So, in a, weird looking in, bug walking around. in a can of chili? In a jungle? Cerros de America. In a movie theater? In the live form? Yes, Eric, a movie theater. You got it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you right. you had, did you say Central or South America, Matt? South. I, I believe that was in Spanish, so. Yeah. Well, you should have said Central because it's <laughs> more in Central America. <laughs> sort of Aww. Mexico, not the jungle, the other part of Mexico, i.e., the desert. Um, they live mostly on cacti. They are called cochineals. They yeah, are little, uh, little red bugs well, that grow on uh, that, that grow that live on cactuses. They are harvested and mashed up and turned into dye. Um, where the captain finds out. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the reason that they are so like famous of bugs is because. Um, when Europeans came to Mexico, they found all these like Mesoamerican tribes that had these like vibrant red, really like incredible fabrics and they couldn't like wrap their heads around it because in Europe, your red dyes were all like drab browns, um, which I think just adds further evidence that people didn't know what colors were until like the 1500s, hmm. know what orange was. We thought brown and red were the same thing. God knows what else was going on. So <laughs> it took the internet for them to finally figure that out. Right, right. That's... So you're saying it could have been Clifford the big brown dog. It could have been. That was the first right. round. All right, that's today's trivia. If you guys have any trivia that you have about the color red that you want to share, please feel free to comment or let us know on Facebook, uh, shoot us a text, uh, send a carrier pigeon, tie it, write it on a note, tie it to a brick, throw it through one of our windows, however you want to get it to us, you do you. Um, if you have a topic of trivia that maybe you'd like to see, you can contact us by any of those methods I just mentioned. Um, and thanks again to everybody joining from the Improv Playhouse. We always love your support. Uh, the Improv Playhouse, you can go to improvplayhouse.com, find out all of the neat things they're doing. They've got classes for kids and they've got classes for big kids. They've got shows every Saturday at 7.30 and 9. Uh, 7.30 is for the kids. 9 is for the big kids, not the little kids so much. Uh, and yeah, if you feel like, hey, I could do comedy, you can. Go take a class and prove it to the world and that guy at work who says you can't. <laughs>